Hello and welcome back and today we want to talk about the brand new QNAP Wi-Fi 6 upgrade card, the QXP W6 AX200. It allows you to add Wi-Fi 6 to your network attached storage device. If you have a PCIe upgrade slot, don't worry, there is practically no limitation. As long as you have a PCIe upgrade slot, you can utilize this device. And that goes for PC users as well. Now, it utilizes PCIe Gen 2 times one So again, I can't think of any NAS in the last 10 years as PCIe that this isn't going to work with. What's interesting is the fact that this device, if you're a NAS user, gives you Wi-Fi 6 up to 240 megabits per second or 2,400 megabits per second. Or if you're a PC user, you have that functionality to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6, but also Bluetooth 5, something I hope QNAP are gonna get behind in their NAS platform as well. Now, why should you care about Wi-Fi 6? It's an interesting you know, question, let's face it. It's not the first time that the tech industry has tried to introduce faster wireless networks. We've seen so many different kinds over the years and we've seen different protocols. Each one of these protocols has had different security behind it. It's had different ways of managing uh, traffic at any given time and trying to make small upgrades to what we think of as Wi-Fi. Our internet service providers are giving us speeds often that are now or are now becoming greater than that internally. We've got so many devices in our home, including network attached storage, PCs, smart TVs, and more that have one gigabit, one GBE, but yet our internet speeds, upload and download, can often exceed that, particularly if you're in places, uh, certain areas of America, and I know there's large swathes of Germany that have got great internet speeds, where internal network speeds of one GBE are just not cutting it. And that is specifically a problem for a lot of wireless devices, everything from your MacBooks to your more portable, powerful devices, because we're always on the go and working remotely in, in areas that we can't cover in cables. Wi-Fi 6, the tech industry has kind of largely agreed is the next step in terms of wireless devices. We're seeing internet service providers roll out routers that have got Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11ax, uh, and we're seeing NAS providers produce 2.5 GBE solutions, so that's 250 megabytes per second LAN connectivity to routers and switches, and particularly those routers that are starting to arrive with Wi-Fi 6. Not just paid routers, but also we're seeing mesh routers, we're seeing internet service ISP routers, we're seeing Wi-Fi 6 appear more and more, and that goes for the client devices. If you bought a new iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy in the last 18 months, two years, there's a very good chance it has Wi-Fi 6 inside. So as the rest of the architecture moves forward, what about you guys with legacy devices? What about people that have bought network attached storage, PCs, bought hardware network devices that haven't reached Wi-Fi 6 yet? You can upgrade laptops and PCs with little M2 adapters, but you're still relying on the antenna protocol and aerials in those devices. That's why this is important, because it allows you to upgrade not only QNAP NASes, but other PCIe NASes and PCs to Wi-Fi 6 and enjoy those larger speeds. And this entirely long, drawn-out introduction about Wi-Fi 6 is important because otherwise you hear about adding antennas to your NAS for 50 quid and going, why? That's why, because of the speeds. Right now, if you try to use a wireless device to communicate with your NAS, you're going to max out somewhere between, if you're really unlucky, 30 megs per second, but more likely about 50 or 60 megabytes per second. And that's if you are in spitting distance of your router and NAS. This will allow you to create a Wi-Fi 6 network, a private network, if you will, in your home or business environment of this faster bandwidth. On top of that, if you are um, an editor, particularly photo editor, probably less so at 240 megabytes per, uh, megabytes per second. If you're a photo editor, this allows wireless um, live editing of photos, raw photos on your NAS. So what are the other advantages? There's the security advantages. If you're a PC user, it will allow you to add um, Bluetooth as well, Bluetooth 5. Um, and there is a whole architecture for that that we'll talk about in a moment. But let's discuss the elephant in the room straight away, this box. Have you noticed anything about it yet? That's right. It's not a QNAP box. This is a third-party company, Address, uh, the GCWBX X200. QNAP are utilizing a third-party card for this. Now, there are drawbacks and there are advantages to that. Um, 
A lot of companies, you might be a little bit hesitant to buy a product when it's a rebrand or a rebadge. Kino Park, the first one to do this, pretty much all the NAS brands that I know, one way or another, have slapped their name on top of another piece of architecture at one point or another, because sometimes it's easier to bench test a third party product and then go, right, we're okay to utilize that, and then they will sell it as an accessory. Uh, another advantage, of course, is, and definitely in the case of this as well, often a badged alternative, they will bring the price down because it's uh, to be utilized by their own audience, their own users, and that's very much the case. If you look at this card, the non-QNAT branded version, it's five to 10 quid more. So it seems really weird, but that is true. Um, the card arrives with a one-year warranty as well. Um, and, you know, we are going to be doing some performance testing on this. I have tried Wi-Fi 6 cards on a QNAP in the past with the Killer iX adapter. We connected that to the TS251D, but that was back in January and it wasn't successful. And I do believe now the drivers QNAP have now integrated into their firmware. So both those cards and this card may well work, but it'll be interesting to see when we do our bench speed test of Wi-Fi 6 on this card with both a Wi-Fi 6 phone and a Wi-Fi 6 laptop. Now, let's have a look inside. What does the card look like? There's our card there, let's open it up. Slip it out there. And there is our card. As you can see there, we've got that adapter on board and that is the Intel AX200 adapter. And this is a two by two uh, antenna and um, arrangement, the controller arrangement on this. It does allow two different frequencies, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, which have a shared total potential speed of 2,400 megabits per second or 240 megabytes per second. And on the back there, we have a power connector and a USB adapter. They are predominantly to be used by the PC platform. There isn't the architecture in QNAP NAS or indeed any NAS platform right now to take advantage of it. Maybe a free NAS or a custom build you can, but for now, that's the card itself. It utilizes that M2 adapter, just like we've seen before there on the main PCB, and it's a full height um, uh, backplane there with the two aerial slots there on the rear of this. So, inside our accessories box, we have got a quick start installation guide there to tell us how to set the device up. We've also got the main antenna, and again, it's quite a nifty little thing. It's magnetic on the base as well, so it will stick to the side of the NAS as needed. Um, but again, I know a number of you are going to be like, ooh, magnets, hard drives. No, um, don't blame you. Now, at the rear of the device, we have got um, the two antennas that connect to the main card there. And it's about a meter and a bit of cabling, I'd say, there. So you can make sure this is nice and high up or somewhere where you're going to get better coverage. It is worth highlighting that Wi-Fi 6's main advantages um, are only, like... You can't get them unless you're in relative proximity. It still has all the wireless range that you would expect uh, from standard Wi-Fi compared with Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5. But I will say that the performance benefits of Wi-Fi 6, you've got to be a bit closer. It doesn't have the coverage that Wi-Fi 5 does. Uh, you know, 802.ac um, and AN and all the ones as well. Uh, those A different uh, um, wireless protocols. Um, but... One thing I will say is uh, this isn't the first time QNAP have released uh, wireless upgrade cards. There was their own um, AC2200 card, and that had antennas attached directly to the card if you chose. It was a 4x4 card. It had four antennas for the rear, and this only has the two. Now, originally, I thought this card was going to be a dual uh, adapter card. It was going to have four antennas and be 4x4, which is a real shame that it's not, although I will say that you should be able to buy antennas that directly attach to these rather than using this one. Although this one is going to give you far better coverage, I think a number of you aren't going to be too keen on the cable and you might want something a bit more immediate. But that's a preference thing. I personally would always use this one. On top of that, we've got the different backplanes there for different styles of PCIe and case. We have the internal power cable there, and this is the one that we connect to that card to allow that additional Bluetooth support. And there is, of course, another USB port on there. And again, those are things that only PC users are gonna be able to enjoy right now. Although it will be interesting once we do the test on this, I am gonna see if that USB can be utilized by the NAS. It'll be quite interesting to see. Um, and of course, we have our drivers there for the device itself. But mind you, those drivers, and it's a CD, so it's gonna be for PC only. The, the QNAP platform will have all of those drivers 
already pre-installed within the latest firmware, so you won't have to worry about mucking around with drivers too much. Um, there is a dedicated wireless AP program from QNAP to allow uh, integration of that private network option on this. Um, the capabilities of Wi-Fi 6 on a device like this it's going to be interesting to see, and I can't wait to do the full software overview because I'm curious how far QNAP are going to take this card in their system. We've already seen them release a couple of their own range of switches and NAS switch combos that have PCIe slots. So I'd be very interested in installing this card inside the Guardian 1600 or Guardian 1600P and then seeing if we can create that Wi-Fi 6 router from them. If you looked at their live stream recently that showed them first talking about this card, they did seemingly allude to, and if you look around at a lot of the firmware updates, there does seem to be a QNAP Wi-Fi 6 router in the works. It's still very early days. I've not had hardly any information about it, but from what you're seeing more and more it's, before it's cropping up, I think Wi-Fi 6 is going to be another branch of hardware architecture that QNAP are moving into in a formal way, in the same way they've done a lot of their managed switches. Now, do I like this card? I do. I, you know, I'm not, I'm going to hold back full judgment until I've got the card fully installed and can see what it can do. But I will say that QNAP moving into Wi-Fi 6 was something that I expected and I'm pleased about. I do want to see what the full performance is going to be. Obviously, you're going to have to make sure that you've got the, uh, the right amount of storage media and the right kind of storage media in your RAID to get that 2,400 megabit. Uh, megabytes per second but i reckon you can knock that out of a two bay pretty easily um i don't think there's going to be any hardware limitations if you're going to be using an annapurna based system but that's something we'll know during the featured testing but otherwise i quite like this card i wish qnap had been a bit more first party about it as we've seen time and time and again in their switches and in their previous generation of wireless cards but i'd rather have it than not have it at all thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this do go into the description where there's a link to nas compares and the hardware review of this, which we will update with software overview as well, closer to the time. Um, other than that, do uh, visit the guys at span.com if you're interested in getting hold of wireless upgrades to your NAS. Not only are they the NAS experts, but they give you free pre and post house tech support and will tell you if you actually need it. They won't just sell it to you. They'll ask you what your setup is because there might be a chance you don't even need the damn thing. So why not visit them and find out? It's a click away. Otherwise, click like if you enjoyed the video, click subscribe to learn more, and I will see you next time.